Hello everyone, uh, uh, my name is Krish Raman. I'm a senior cloud architect with Doctor. Today I'm going to show you how to do an um, act, how to send an activation email to the user's manager. So uh, I think the use case is uh, oftentimes like where when company onboards some users, um, this is like a workforce use case where I onboard a user from HR system and I provision to Active Directory, obviously like uh, the email address is generated uh, um, in-house and there is no way the user is being uh, given access to the email address yet. So they don't, they want to uh, um, onboard uh, smoothly on day one. So in order to do that, most of the companies today, they give uh, uh, the user's credentials, one-time credentials to the user's manager so that the manager can grant that credential to the end user as part of their onboarding process. So uh, in order to do that, what we did is basically like uh, uh, I created a workflow when somebody created an Okta. So in order to do this demo, I actually have a user called uh, Michael Schumacher. So I'm going to add him to a, a Active Directory group. So it, to do this prerequisite, uh, you need to have a directory integration. And I'm going to use my phoneline.com. Active Directory, and you also need to have like provisioning turned on to Active Directory as well to make sure that this flow works. And in my workflow, what I did is I'm just checking whether the user is assigned to the Active Directory application, and this is a specific instance of Active Directory. If uh, that triggers the workflow, basically, so once the user is uh, uh, created uh, as part of the user creation process, generally, like we use like groups to uh, create them in Active Directory. So when we provision that the group here, I have a group called uh, an Okta AD user uh, creation, uh, AD provisioning bloodline. So in this, I map the directories in Active Directory here, and he should be provisioned to users OU in AD. So when the user is added to the specific group, uh, that triggers, uh, that assigns the user to the application. And then uh, when the user is assigned to the application, I get a trigger. Now I'm just checking the user to make sure he's actually provisioned successfully because that's a very important step. You want to make sure that he's, so the way like we do that is something called, there's something called the sync state once you get the user and you can check whether it's synchronized or not. If it's synchronized, that means he's assigned properly. If it says out of synchronized or anything out of this, that means there is a problem. So you need to either respond back with something else, whatever you want. I just here simply like have like stop at this point. Uh, and then I'm saying user is not assigned to AD at all. So that, and you could basically like send this to a subflow, which would trigger an email to you saying, hey, uh, go and check this flow user or something. So similarly, uh, once I once it passes, the user synchronized, everything is good. I'm just reading the user in Okta, and I'm checking the manager ID of the user. In this use case, I have a manager ID, which is like an Okta ID that is populated on the manager, I mean, on the user profile. And uh, I, in that manager ID, I'm querying the, reading the user of the manager, and then I'm getting the email address back for the manager, and I'm using that to send an email, right? So, uh, and I'm using like, I'm constructing like a, um, um, like pretty much like a, um, uh, um, a subject, I mean like a body and then a subject here, I, I just map like after username. So here you can map the AD username as well. The AD username is supposed to be here where you can get like um, either you want to get the object, use, I mean like the semicolon name or the object, uh, whatever you want to uh, get from the uh, user, you can actually query. For example, here, I can actually go back and just do, and then take, uh, take probably the users, let's say, Sam account Let's pick through that so that I can just send that uh, to the user. So we got the Sam account name. And then actually, you can also take the username if you want, but I'm just going to take the Sam account name. And I can drag this one and actually like, go back to my. Um, Here, go back to my AD username field, and I can just populate this one here with uh, uh, AD username. I can also similarly get my uh, 
okay, look at this. I have like, a, I'm calling an API here to expire the user password. This is how we're going to generate a password for the user. So there is an expire password, uh, temp password API, which you can call in Okta that will generate a temporary one-time password. And also it puts the user in one-time password mode as well. So here I'm going to get this uh, temp call temp password uh, from this body. So I'm just extracting that uh, temp password field. And I'm just going to like put that one-time password as well. This is a one-time password field, which I'm going to save. So I'm going to save this one. I constructed a subject. I constructed a body. And internally, I use like Office 65. So you can use like, you can create basically like a, 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 a mailbox, service account mailbox, which is permanently going to send this email to the managers. And that, uh, let's say, IT activation email, or whatever the mailbox you create, you can create it to the email box. And then you can actually send it to the user manager. I'm just passing the subject body. And also you can see the message type. You can also construct like an HTML body. And you can actually set up HTML body as well, like which is there in Octa templates. You can find an HTML body to copy over that body here. And you can construct your own with the, uh, like a nice uh, logo and all those stuff. You can do whatever you want here. So now I'm going to do a test here a little bit. So what I'm going to do is go back here and I'm going to pick up that user, which is like Michael Schumacher. And I'm going to assign the user to a specific group, which is like AD uh, provisioning. So now this should trigger my workflow and I should actually like go back if you go back here. Let me go and check the flow history. I can actually like check there's a event came into um, you can also first go and check like whether this user's uh, provision or not. So you can see here, it says like uh, Michael Schumacher came through and is synchronized here. And then, um, uh, and, and also like you can check, I read the user, I did the password, I got the password of the user. I am actually composing the email and I'm actually sending the email here to the end user, I mean, like the manager. You can see like the payload here, what I'm sending. You know, your SAM account name and all these things. Now, if I go back to my email, I should actually receive an activation email for this end user. But if there you go, you can see like a new hire on board successfully. Uh, so why I am getting this email? So what is this email? It says it sent the email to krishna.gmail.com actually. If you go back to my AD activation, all it did is uh, it actually uh, checked my user manager uh, in Okta. And the user manager comes as kvr at jkrishna.com. That's my user manager. Now it pulled the kvr jkrish.com and it took the email, primary email, which is like chris.gmail.com. That's where it actually sent an email to the end user. So now this is the manager email, which manager is basically like can give it to their uh, uh, employees during the day one. So that's uh, pretty simple, is it? And thanks for watching my video today and have a nice day. Thank you.